This is Hoppa Chick Creative and I wanted to show the second part of my Altered Art Journal cover by Diane Reevely. These two pieces, which will need to be flattened out, I will probably use a heavy book to flatten these two pieces out. Uh, they are recycled cardboard. I used these from a takeout box and I used the uh, brown bag burned glue effect on both of these and there are tutorials out there on this uh, method basically I've seen it done on cardboard I haven't seen it done on other surfaces yet I, I think you can do it on chipboard and things like that but uh, this is probably a medium weight cardboard I cut out two pieces and instead of using Aline's tacky glue, I used what I had on hand, which was Elmer's glue. And then you spread the glue liberally on the piece after you've cut it out. And I have found that the more glue and the more texture you put into the glue with your paintbrush, or even your finger if you like using if you like to kind of do the finger paint thing, uh, the more bumps and bubbles and ridges and texture you will get in the piece, which is fun. Then after I let that dry, I buffed off the soot and I will link below to the original video where I found the um, tutorial on how to do the burn glue effect. I used a couple more Lumiere paints. There's a violet and a gold. And on this piece I used a lot more of the violet and I love how the Lumiere paints blend together. It's not coming out quite accurately through my phone what the colors look like, but it's pretty close. Very metallic. It's absolutely gorgeous and what it makes me think of is the surface of other planets, the surface of the moon. It has a a solar system effect. Looks like uh, outer space to me. This piece used a lot of violet, a little bit of gold to blend in. This one I used more gold and some violet. And these two pieces made me think of sea kelp. So I'm going to be gluing them on to the front of this visual journal. And then I have some images that I downloaded from the internet of mermaids that I'm going to find a way to incorporate on the surface and I may use ice resin on the mermaid images. I love using the ice resin on paper and other surfaces. It just gives it this museum-like quality and I just absolutely love the polish and finish that it gives to pieces. So I will more than likely resin those pieces and then situate them onto the, the surface and I may add some other elements. I have a package of, it's actually ocean themed potpourri that has real sea sponges and um, little this and that's that are actually from the ocean so I may find a way to to put those on the cover but I wanted to show the second part of the art journal cover and now that the cover is mostly dry I think I'm gonna take a chance hopefully this will be okay to open and show you the first page that I worked on in this journal. 
And because it's now 2014 and it's a new year, I was really moved by a quote a friend sent me on Facebook from Alfred Lord, Lord Tennyson. And it says, Hope smiles from the threshold of the year to come, whispering, it will be happier. And then this piece is another burn glue cardboard piece with Lumiere paints on top of it. Again, using Elmer's glue. And in the background is just your basic acrylic paints. I believe they are the folk art brand by Plaid. One of them is sort of a cranberry color and the other one is a turquoise that I really like. So I just prepped the surface with white gesso and then started in with the with a scraping tool and went across the surface. And that's my first page in the journal and I thought it was very appropriate because it is now January 3rd and everybody is talking about how 2014 is going to be a fantastic year. So here's my one of my contributions to the new year. Hope you like it. Please leave me any questions or comments below. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.